I am waiting for the autumn weather so I can start wearing layers and blazers and coats. But it's nowhere to be seen. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day today, you guys. 24 degrees down under. This is, this is what you get when you live in in Sydney, New South Wales. Well, I live just out of Sydney, an hour and a half drive to be exact. And yeah, it's just glorious weather. Glorious all year round. It doesn't get to freezing in New South Wales. It just doesn't. On to more important matters, I am going thrifting today and I thought I'd go back to my roots and stay in my hometown of Tookley because let me tell you, the thrifting everywhere else is not only crap, but it's way expensive. There is no such thing as charity shops anymore, in my opinion. But I could talk about that subject for for days on end and maybe I will very soon because I have so much to say about it but in my local hometown of Tookley you can find one dollar bargains items are a few dollars yes maybe the salvos has gone up a bit but it's not ridiculous it's reasonable it's where I find all the vintage I just do not enjoy thrifting anywhere else. So today we are going to visit as many as we can before I exhaust myself. It's been a while since I've actually filmed a thrift in my hometown. I do visit the op shops every week or every second week and always find something. Even if it's one thing, I will always find something and I just love it. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's see how many op shops we can tackle today. Without further ado, let us go. So I found this black shirt in a size 14. It's got a great sleeve. It's quite long as well. This may work as a shirt dress. I just heard the ladies say that all clothing is a dollar a piece. This looks like it could be vintage. Not sure about this crochet detail, but I do like the sleeve and the color, of course. It could be a great layering piece. This Alfred Dunner label is quite good, but this piece, even though it is vintage, I am not into. I'm quite excited. I've come across a few knits that are vintage. This is the first one. I don't recognize that label, but it's a one size gorgeous cable knit poncho with a turtleneck. And what about this? Look how old that Suzanne label is. It's a gray cardi in this gorgeous textured knit. I'm not too sure about this one though. Warwick Jones. I'll try it on but probably not. Now this, this is a gem. Look at that gold vintage button. Wow, it's quite huge, but I cannot resist. Look at that vintage label. Wow, I'm over in men's. This is not real Ralph Lauren. I can tell because the buttons should have the branding of Ralph Lauren Polo on them and these don't. I found a Hawaiian shirt for my Hawaiian travels. It's actually made in Hawaii. Love the colorway and the print, but it's so freaking huge, my friends. What a shame. This is just way too big. I mean, it's almost a long sleeve on me and way too long. It wouldn't even work as a shirt dress. This may actually work. I love this dagger collar and the balloon sleeve. The length is good for a shirt dress. It may even look good with a pair of not skinny but not straight kind of in between jeans with a riding boot just to break it up a little bit like a blue denim. I think I may have to take this and even if it doesn't work out it was only a dollar right? This is a no for me. I just don't think I can modernize this piece and look at the sleeve I am not into this detail or this little tie here it's just not the shape that I was kind of hoping it would be I have a feeling that you're gonna yell at me through your screen when I say this but you guys I'm not feeling it you know I am just 
not into this at all. I don't know why. On paper, it sounds great. Turtleneck, neutral, cable knit, oversized. Sadly, it's a no, my friends. Again, you guys, this is a no. I love that it's vintage, love the color, love the texture, but the shape and the cut is just not it for me. The sleeve is not wide enough, it's too clingy, I like the high neck, but it doesn't have volume. I mean, even if I buttoned it up and wore it as a top, perhaps tuck it in a little bit, it's better, but yeah, the sleeve, and there's not much I can do about that. I kind of knew this was not going to work out. It's very dated. That's what I see. This is a letdown because I was almost certain that I was going to take this. I've just noticed the color. It's not really cream. It's got that yellow tinge to it that I cannot stand. And also, it's just not... It's not it. I don't like the way it looks on the bottom. It kind of tapers in and gives it a weird shape. I would have preferred it just boxy. The sleeve is wide enough, but it's just, yeah, it's not it, you guys. And although all these pieces are $1, I refuse to bring home pieces that I'm just going to donate back again. I need to be able to modernize them and work them into an outfit, be excited to wear them. You know what I mean? So I guess it's no to all of these pieces, except the black shirt dress, which I think I can actually make work. Only one piece, my friends, but one is better than none. I'm going to put it in the car and we will make our way over to the salvos.
my friends, is why I love shopping in my hometown. Op shopping, that is, of course. I just, it's the best. It is the best. I really wanted to go into the Adra op shop. You know, the little corner one that I always go into. That is my favorite, but I stuffed up because they only accept cash and I didn't bring any cash with me. I've only got my phone. So I will come back tomorrow and include that in this video as well. I have to take this off or else I'm gonna suffocate. I need some water. Okay, before we get stuck into the items that I thrifted today, can I just say that I am so particular these days? I am. I'm so fussy, I am so hard to please, and that's whether I am thrifting or shopping retail. Zara, H&M, Coz, Mango, ASOS, Farfetch, Outnet, Net-a-Porter. I've, I've looked everywhere and I just cannot commit to buying anything because I, well, the things I do love are like $600 a piece and I'm just not about to fork out $600 for one article of clothing when I know I can find gorgeous vintage, which is what I love, and modernize it with pieces that I already own in my wardrobe. I don't know what it is with me and vintage. It's, it's, it's just, it is the thickest layer to my personal style. It's not that I wear vintage head to toe. I need a vintage piece to anchor my outfit to show my personal style. You know, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, as for thrifting, well, I'm not prepared to fork out more than $20, $25 for anything in an op shop. I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it because I feel that if we pay these kind of prices, 25, 35, 40, 50, 70, believe you me, I have seen these price tags on very generic, not even special pieces. If we start paying that kind of money, why would they lower their pricing? They just wouldn't, right? Charity shopping, op shopping, thrift shopping is not retail shopping. If I wanna pay that kind of money, I'm gonna go retail shopping. I'm gonna buy something current and modern if I wanna spend that kind of money. Not when I'm op shopping. As a consumer who, who shops thrift, for my personal wardrobe and as a reseller, the philosophy for me is the same. Why do op shops even care if resellers are buying stock to sell for a higher price? Why do they care? They get items for zero dollars and so whatever they make is 100% profit and is supposed to go to charity. Does it? I don't know because a lot of these op shops are retail shops now. They even have a return policy. I mean, I have never gone to an op shop and bought something and asked, can I return it or return something? It's crazy to me. It's it's just crazy to me. And it just, yeah, it goes against the principle for me. It's not charitable. It's, it's just, and everyone is op shopping these days. You get teenagers, who are onto it, you know, it's trendy now, it's all over YouTube, they're shopping in op shops, you've got people who cannot afford to, to shop retail in the op shops, you've got the resellers, you've got the people who just love thrifting, love it, it's their passion, and then you've got people like me who are always hunting down vintage. So in my opinion, they shouldn't care what kind of customer they get. They should be more interested in the turnover of, of the product. More items sold means more cash in the registers to help the needy, right? I am just so disappointed in the way thrifting is going. I cannot tell you. Anyway, I don't wanna ramble on too much. Let's get stuck into the pieces that I picked up today. So first we went into the little TNC op shop, usually, their prices are $4 for blouses, I think it's $5 for dresses, $6 for coats. It's so reasonable. Today, everything apart from coats was a dollar a piece. So I grabbed the oversized black shirt with the balloon sleeve. It is a size 14 and it's by 
willow and tree i'm pretty sure that's just a fast fashion label that goes into boutiques it looks like it hasn't even been worn because the little button is still attached to the tag it's a cotton polyester blend i'm gonna wear this as a shirt dress not sure if it's gonna work but even if it doesn't it's okay it was only a dollar right i'll just donate it back so i'm really into this dagger collar i thought that was great and the sleeve love those two details in this piece and so whether i wear it with ankle booties or a high top trainer i'm not sure i can even layer it with a knit over top i'm not really sure how i'm gonna style it but i do hope that it works as a shirt dress because i don't have one and black i think is such a great color for winter it's chic it's flattering it was just a really good piece i thought so moving on to the salvos i fell in love with this coat the cut and shape is so unique it's got a mandarin collar which i love this sleeve is almost like a short sleeve but it's not really and the way it cinches in on the arm is so chic to me it would look great layered with a gorgeous blouse the cocoon shape the way it billows in the back the pockets it's just the silhouette i thought it was so unusual i don't have anything like this i just couldn't resist this piece it's so interesting to me so interesting it's vintage of course junior look this piece was six dollars which i could not believe i thought they would have had it in the boutique section for 40 bucks so the fabric is a wool blend a hundred percent because it was a little scratchy on me so it's 70 percent wool 30 percent acrylic this piece is not lined you would need to wear something comfortable and soft inside so that you don't feel that kind of itchiness and so this piece i am thrilled with this is what i go looking for this is why today is a successful thrift trip and by the way did you notice this detail it's it's such a great coat i also picked up this vintage cami it's so beautifully made i love the buttons in the back i just think a piece like this is a staple in a woman's wardrobe i may not reach for it every season but when i need a beautiful elegant slash sexy cami to layer under a blazer for a, a dinner out you know with some jeans but i also have this short drop waisted pleated skirt it would be a beautiful seamless look add a cute little kitten heel or a pointy flat gorgeous simple elegance love okay so this piece is by fletcher jones australia which i absolutely love i've thrifted many items from this label lots of blazers red tags were 50 percent off so i got it for 350 and i'm pretty sure that it's polyester yes 100 percent polyester which you won't be able to see there because it's so tiny but i thought wow this is just beautifully made I love the buttons in the back. I think that's so gorgeous. Tuck it in, leave it out. It's a beautiful forever piece, love. Okay, I have been on the hunt for a leopard print or animal print blouse. The ones that I've thrifted so far haven't been love for me. And I've either donated them back or sold them on my shop. But this one, which is only a H&M piece, it's in a size medium, I really loved. First of all, I love the fabric it's a silky kind of polyester but it's not that terribly cheap awful polyester it feels almost like a chiffon i love the sleeve because it's kind of like a balloon sleeve and the button cuff detail i think is interesting so i love that what i love most of all is the gorgeous high neck the little button detail in the back of the neck as well so i think i'd wear my hair up and the tone of this animal print and the scale of it it just works okay so there is the h&m label it is polyester and this one was seven dollars now seven dollars for a h&m piece is a little bit on the higher side in my opinion yes animal print is very in 
this year, this season. However, animal print to me is timeless. It's just always been around. It's always been around and I find that it can either look tacky or it can look classy and elegant. And I think that this blouse is classy and elegant. You can dress it down with denim, you can dress it up with a skirt and a blazer or a pair of black trouser pants that would look gorgeous as well. I thought it was just great. And I have had a little look at H&M. I did see an animal print blouse in there, but I didn't like it. I prefer this so much more. The buttons, okay, maybe not my favorite, but at least they're not those ugly gold flat buttons that are so generic you get them in gold and silver. I don't mind these little round baubles. I love that it's kind of semi sheer as well and just so billowy and blousey and yeah I just thought yep I'm gonna shoot that for my Instagram. I'll wear it this season. Will I keep it forever? Is it a forever piece? Maybe because like I said leopard print is timeless. Knowing me occasion tops I get over. The fifth and final piece from today's thrift is this Kukai dress. Now Kukai is an Australian label. It's kind of pricey too. It was my size, size 10, 38, $7, which again, I thought was so reasonable. This, if they knew, should be in their boutique range for 20 to 30 or $40. Going by the way, they price other high street dresses. Love the bone color, love the sleeve. The shift shape is what I love the most. It's a style that I gravitate towards and I do own a few dresses in this exact same shape. And I think this would be the third shift dress I have with pockets. I just love the style. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's effortless because it's just so simple and it's timeless. And I just couldn't believe my luck. Love the round high neck, the pockets. I mean, every dress should come with pockets. I think I'm gonna style this up either with my new black buckle ankle boots or maybe even my cream sock booties, little kitten heel sock booties for a more tonal look, but it needs a good steam. It is fully lined, which is fantastic. It's beautifully made. I just thought, wow, what a great find. So three modern pieces and two vintage pieces that I can see myself wearing, excited to style them up for my Instagram. I'm not gonna finish this video. Tomorrow we'll go to the Adra Op Shop, see what I can find in there. Yeah, then we'll, then we'll wrap it up. But I guess I'm gonna head home now. No, actually I'm gonna go for my walk. It's two o'clock. I'm gonna go for my walk, head home, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning to you, my sweet friends. Ooh, ooh. Can you see me? It is bright sunshine today, my friends. Bright and sunny, 27 degrees. Okay, let us go to the Adra Op Shop. I've got a busy day today. Times are wasting, let us go. but it's always so much fun. It's always so much fun, especially in there. The ladies are gorgeous. They've got the old school tunes playing. 
it's just good vibes all around. But anyway, my friends, that is it for this trip with me. I'm sorry I didn't find anything, but I still wanted, you know, to take you there and give you a little look around. So yeah, stay tuned for a vlog. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope I see you in my next one.